something small. Oh, okay. It's huge. She would do this on a Sunday that I had a button shirt and this isn't small than either. Tell the sticky mom is high. Hey, put this up on my shoulder. over at uh, Hobby Lobby yesterday. My wife and, and, and Ruth were both working. And uh, they had some very interesting fabric in there. And I suggested that Ray get out her sewing machine and get some of this uh, neon multi-colored fabric and make me a dress shirt out of it. And I creep in it. Uh, what do you guys do with that? It might be, yeah. But uh, I think you keep him on for a while, at least. He might help me to confirm him today. Like I said, it's a magnet. It makes things work. You know how magnets work? Polarity. Exactly. Or magic, if you're back into uh, some, some older times or understanding. I don't fully understand how they work, but I know that they work. That there's something there that is attractive when you have a uh, a metal object, a certain type of metal, I guess it has to be iron, right? Anybody know? Lead, iron, iron, iron. It has to be iron, and there's something in there that is attracted to it so that it will hold there. You will stay on my shoulder as long as I leave him there, as long as I leave that metal there, that plate underneath. He's attracted to it. We, in our lives, ought to be attracting people, not repelling people. You realize you put two magnets of the same polarity together, they push apart. Sometimes we do that to people. There is no spiritual gift of obnoxiousness. Amen. <laughs> realize that. Just because you're a Christian, just because God has called you to be different, to be in the world but not of the world, that doesn't give you a right to go around being an obnoxious jerk. That repels people. Instead, we are called to be people who show God's love and grace and mercy. As God has extended his love, grace, and mercy to us, we should extend that to others around about us. And they may be obnoxious jerks, and we need to love them anyway, show them grace and mercy anyway. That our lives might be attractive, that we might attract people not merely to us, but attract them to the Lord. Think about that as you see Hugh for the rest of the service, and as you, as you run into magnets in your life, that our lives need to be attractive 